Let's do it again. Dang, you got distracted by listening to a car. I was waiting for it to change gear. Anyway. For this modification you're going to need a paint set kit which will come with the paint and brake caliper cleaner as well. Mixing stick to be able to mix it all together, otherwise we're using here is an old coat hanger. Mixing pot, mix it all together with the lid as well so you can seal it on and keep working on it over time. Masking tape to seal off the area you don't want to paint. And then obviously wire brushes to be able to clean your brakes. First off you want to jack up your car. Then remove the front wheels. Then take your brake cleaner and masking tape and cover the discs appropriately. Spray on an even coat of the brake cleaner and start brushing. This isn't a part you want to rush, preparation is key and this takes a good few hours to do. Just with the power of video editing, we made it look quick. And this, this is why you wear gloves. That is how filthy the brakes are. Imagine trying to get that off your hands. Wouldn't be nice. Right, okay, so now it's down to mixing the paint itself. So again, we'll just put some two new gloves on. New gloves. So, you've got the brake kind of a lacquer and the brake kind of a hardener. Make sure this obviously in a well ventilated area. So what we do is just keep mixing it as you can see. That is a nice red. The good thing is though, because we're doing it in this, we can keep reseeding the lid and uh, just paint it on as and when we need. What we now got to do. It should leave it standing for 5 to 10 minutes and then mix it all over again. So what we're now going to do is just give it another quick mix. And then we're going to put the lid back on and we're going to go outside and apply the first coat. You then want to carefully apply the first coat of paint, making sure you do not paint the discs themselves. Then wait 15 minutes. Then you need to apply the second kind of paint. So then it pretty much is just a case of setting the timer for two hours. For the rear calipers, you may want some extra help to speed up the process. Once complete, this is what it should look like. And remember, before you drive off, make sure all your wheel nuts are securely back on because there's no point having nice shiny red brake calipers if your wheel's in the tree and your car's in the ditch. So guys, that was how you paint your brake calipers a different colour. Make sure you follow everything we did in this video and make sure you do it in a well ventilated area. And also remember, subscribe, it's free, and give the video a like rating if you enjoyed it. They also even send it to your gram via old letter and stamps, but that obviously is a lot of money now, so you want to make sure that you maybe email it to your 
Yeah, it's cheaper. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go for email. Yeah, so Share it around and um, share it up. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. All links in the description below. Maybe even get your grand to show us uh, her paint colours. Say next time. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> Do you want to make videos like us? I want a partnership that will help you along the way. Well, you can join the GT Channel Network. It's free and it's easy. All you've got to do is click the link in the description below. And let them know that we sent you. Enjoy. Boom! Oh! You know what I'm doing? I'm going home to bed.